Why am I running, you may ask? I actually wanted to get there one hour early, but I'm only 30 minutes early. So gotta hurry. Gotta get in line. Will I be first in line? I doubt it. It's me first. There's nobody here. It's totally dead. Let's see what happens. Hey there. Today we'll be talking about the LEGO 2 Times VIP. May the 4th be with you. Hey there everybody and thank you for visiting AdShot. If this is your first time or you are returning, we appreciate you viewing. All video and music made from scratch. Hey there and welcome, we're here. And the line doesn't look too bad, or does it? So keep in mind that this line eventually went all the way down the corridor and out into that open area. So I was lucky to get in this place in line 30 minutes before opening. So as I took my place and, you know, looked down the corridor and... When we start moving the line, I have to ask if you are in front of a doorway, you need to pause and, and wait. So the scene is starting to get a little more tense now as the store opens up. And we were assured just before opening that there were 54 R2-D2s on hand. So a few guys around me in line uh, counted all the people in front of us. Uh, I did seem to think that we were going to be in good shape. They were trying to ask for just one R2-D2 per household. And as you can see, the window lickers here were definitely looking close at all the great Star Wars items for sale today and on display. And here we go, I'm finally in. And one thing I was pretty sad about is I heard that they had three cantinas on hand. I have been looking for the Moss Eisley Cantina for a long time. It is never available. It seems to never be in stock, but I will lay my hands on it. The set is super hard to find, and it's just something I don't want to particularly order online, if that's even possible. I just want to have it in my hand and have that box proper. So here's one that's been calling to me for a while. This is the Death Star Final Duel. I really want that one, but I haven't gotten it yet. And there's the Batmobile, my lord. The Lunar Lander, and of course on display there, Creator 3-in-1, trying to hawk the mechs over here. So the police station, Aston Martin DB5, and the Mini Cooper. Of course, we have the Walker on display. I was very happy to see that. Very happy. And here the Manchester United Sports Stadium. I am loving that. Here we go, Ninjago, some of my favorite themes here, and this was a jewel. They had the Hogwarts Castle on display. This is set 71043. This one is an amazing set with lots of detail. Of course, it's not perfectly minifigure scale, but it has lots of great rooms to play in and have fun in and set up your figs in and take pictures. And I think this is really an awesome set. So as you might know by now, I love to come to LEGO's store and go to their pick and build wall and just fill up cups. But on this occasion, I did not do it. These employees were working so hard, just slamming out customers after one after another. It was just crazy. So I didn't want to bother them and, you know, try and take away their time or even get sort of a thing like, hey, it's closed today. So I just let them, you know, fulfill what they were doing. Everyone was really there to get the R2-D2. That was kind of the big deal. So uh, it was a long drive. I probably drove at least three hours this day to go down and back. And, you know, I'm back up here and just want to show you what I picked up. I'm really happy about it. I was, you know, further back in line, but I did manage to score one of the R2-D2s. This item right here is sold out online. It's sold out in the stores now for their big event. The only way to get this thing would be on the secondary market on eBay. Right now this thing is clearly going for double price on eBay. This set 75308 has 2,314 pieces. This thing stands about 12 inches tall. It's got a lot of gears and mechanisms inside that allow R2 to articulate and move his head and do all sorts of other things. Of course, sending out his gadgets, which are on his chest, back, head, and everything else. So I am so excited to build this thing. I'm not gonna build it right away. I'm kind of actually considering the secondary market with this, but I wasn't sure I was actually gonna buy R2 today. I thought that they might surprise us with a UCS Star Wars ship, like a drop ship or gunship, but that did not take place today. Here we go, R2 standing about 12 inches tall. This thing is so detailed and all the little gadgets it has. Of course, Luke Skywalker's lightsaber. 
And of course, we're totally brought back to like the scenes from the movie here with young Annie, Luke cleaning out all that carbon scoring, and then another scene from the latest. So really, I, I do want to build this thing. It is really a compelling set. Something about it just really drew me in right there when I was waiting in line with every but else, I, I mean, what were they all there for? They were there for R2. This was like a big event. So I couldn't share my excitement with everyone else. I wasn't thrilled about this thing when it first came out, but talking to people in line, it all made sense. I had to get it. I want to build it. And here we go. Here's your free gift. If you spend over 80, set 40451, this is Tatooine Homestead. I love this little nano village. It is just super cool. Uh, all the details, the sand crawler, everything that's so micro and used is just what really compels people for these sets. And this is the reason why I went to LEGO today. I mean, I could have gone to Tashi Station to get some power converters, but I decided on this. And this was awesome, and I would do it again on the next big event, likely. Uh, and here we go. This was the extra gift you will get if you spent over a certain amount. And here we got LEGO Polybag 30388 consists of 85 pieces it is the imperial shuttle so happy to get this it's such a cool bag and you know what another little extra they give you if you spend over 30 bucks i think was this mini frame for mom perfect for mother's day and i think i'm gonna make use of that so thank you lego thank you for that very much all right so as we get into the next number two purchase here here it is i got what i wanted the imperial probe droid this one has been on my radar for a few weeks i have been not sure about if I wanted to get sort of a display model like this uh, from Star Wars, but a lot of their sets are starting to grow on me. I haven't been drawn into the helmets yet, uh, or the baby Yoda figurine things, or the blockheads. I don't go there yet, um, but I'm really into Star Wars, obviously, and this is set 75306. It has 683 pieces. It is going to be a fun build. I know it's going to be intricate and delicate, but once it's on display, I think I'll be happy. And here we go, the battle scenes from Hoth. And we got uh, Han Solo about to blast that thing with uh, Chewbacca's diversion. And anyway, this thing sits about 10 and a half inches tall. I think it's going to be really cool to get on display somewhere. And I'll probably hold up on this build only for the fact that I am going to expand a little bit on my abilities to put Lego on shelving and it's just sort of a future project so a lot of my big sets might just hold off until I have a proper place to set these things up and here we go I had to buy an extra set just to reach again the threshold in order to give me my extra free Tatooine homestead so I'm very stoked about that I was able to buy the first purchase and I wasn't really done shopping yet so I browsed around I grabbed the Imperial probe droid and looked for a few other things and of course that again came with an extra imperial shuttle and another frame for mom so here we go this is uh going to be my final purchase today uh, i was not really planning on this one but i have been eyeballing this set for quite some time i really did want the atat -AT walker from the empire strikes back the battle of hoth this is such an awesome set to me it may not be minifig scale or anything like that, but just such a cool set. You can pick it up easily, you can move it around, you can set it up on your table. I have been eyeballing this set for quite a while, and I have been trying to find Targets or Walmarts that actually stock this set, where some stores say they have it, and I've been in there, and they do not. And so it may even be listed on the shelf, or maybe they get one in at a time, but really, this thing is a hard find at times. Luckily, they brought it back for the Star Wars event. So you're going to get Luke Skywalker and General Veers. You're going to get a couple AT-AT drivers and a couple of snow troopers. Super cool to get a bunch of minifigs with any set. That is the one important thing that LEGO should always provide. Any set, UCS or not. Lots of minifigures, please. This thing has opening bay doors on both sides of it, so you can sit the guys down and play with them in there. It's got the harpoon cable that can be winched up. It's got all sorts of storage and detachment. It's got missile shooters, of course. You can't have any awesome set without that. And it's got a super detailed cockpit where you can fit three minifigs in. You know, there's not a lot of headroom, but for the reality is, this thing is just so fun. You've got places to put your guys, and that's what I like. So of course, with this third purchase, I did pick up my third Tatooine Homestead. 
and I am so excited about that. And again, the purchase yielded another Imperial Shuttle. So I'm super stoked about these purchases today. I'm super stoked about the gifts. I do appreciate those. It's what drives me to Lego. So everybody wants to figure out a way to save on their Lego, and the only real way to do it is to shop on these double VIP point days and to you know, take advantage of when they're giving out free gifts because those can turn into a little bit of money on the secondary market or you can hold on to them for a while, the price only goes up. You know, it's just great things about this. Hey, I had a great day at the mall. My bags were filled. I was super stoked about this purchase today. You know, it was weird. Later in the day, I was feeling some sort of low, some sort of lower feeling or state of mind. And I really think because my day started with this huge peak, this fantastic euphoria of a Lego haul, I can tell you, it definitely is something. And so I just wanted to say, if you guys like these videos, or if you know someone who might, if you know someone who might be into Lego, if you know that you might be converting yourself into an adult fan of Lego, you know, like this video, subscribe to this channel, and share this with whoever you think might like it. I do a lot of videos here. I try to do sort of a variety channel. I want to create a community with you guys. So leave me feedback and comments. I'd love to get back and forth with you guys and uh, do all I can to make you all happy. Always score the ad shot. Hey, let me know what you think in the comments below. There's more to come. Please, subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.